You know, it's really amazing just how much our lives here have changed in the past decade. Our society is thriving, and many would agree that our children are facing a much brighter future. Making sure that Northern Ireland is an inclusive and shared place where difference is respected and valued is the vision of the Equality Commission. Its work began in 1999, a year after our politicians came together to sign the Good Friday Agreement. The Equality Commission took over the work of four other bodies. The Commission for Racial Equality, the Equal Opportunities Commission, the Fair Employment Commission and the Disability Council. Based on the edge of Belfast city centre, the Commission's job is to advance equality, promote equality of opportunity, encourage good relations and challenge discrimination. This DVD is designed to give you an insight into how the Equality Commission works and gives you the chance to meet the people the Commission is helping. The Commission has a range of tools at its disposal to make a difference here in Northern Ireland. We can help people take cases. We do advise employers and service providers on how to comply with the law and have good practice. We do talk to government and policy makers about making sure policies and practices at government level are fair and equal and we're certainly making a difference in Northern Ireland. Most cases that the Commission is assisting, or the category which is the highest number of cases at the moment, is race, then disability, then gender, then quite a considerable way down you get religious belief or political opinion. A recent survey of just over a thousand people showed that there's been an increase in negative views about race, disability and sexual orientation. Nearly half of the people questioned would mind a little or a lot having a traveller as a neighbour. That's 10 percentage points more than in 2005. More than one in five people say they would mind a gay, lesbian or bisexual person living next door compared to 14% three years ago. The same number, 23%, say they would have the same problem with a migrant worker. I think there's a combination of factors which will explain that, and partly about people perceiving that jobs are being taken away from them, which, of course, isn't necessarily the case, partly because of perceptions they have, very negative perceptions about behaviours of the other group. A range of factors will explain why those negative attitudes are there. It gives us a real job of work to do to explain, educate, put forward the reasons why it's important that everyone is treated fairly. Over the last 50 years, and particularly in the last, say, 20 years, there has been the development of an awareness that in a modern democracy it's desirable if there are independent institutions like an Equality Commission to protect the entitlements of people and to ensure that people's fair treatment is guaranteed and is delivered. The particular character of the history of Northern Ireland makes it important because there are particular areas of the law that apply to Northern Ireland that don't apply elsewhere. So there's fair employment legislation which guarantees that you can't treat people unfairly on grounds of their religious belief or their political opinion. And that has a very particular resonance in Northern Ireland and that's an important part of the work that we do. In the last 10 years, everyone in Northern Ireland has access to a greater level of protection against discrimination than they did in 1999. We have seen successive bits of legislation to protect people against discrimination on grounds of age, employment, on grounds of sexual orientation in respect of employment and the provision of goods and services. We've seen expansion of the disability discrimination legislation to cover more areas in particular, for example, education and in access arrangements. And we've seen changes to 
fair employment legislation, the gender legislation and the race relations legislation as a result of our membership of the European Union and European directives. And that's very important because it underlines how important it is at a local level to ensure protection against inequality is in the legislation. In relatively plain For the next five years we will want to continue measures, you know, our work to ensure that equality legislation is understood, implemented and acted upon by everyone in Northern Ireland. We will want to continue our public awareness campaigns to make sure people understand why equality is important and why it's relevant to every single one of us who live here in Northern Ireland. And we will want to continue our work to ensure that others in Northern Ireland, whether they government departments, local councils, education authorities, private employers, that they are doing their bit to work towards equality in Northern Ireland. For us, it is ever a challenge. It's a constant process of attempting to improve the condition in which individuals live. Attempting not just in a mechanical way to apply the law, but in a real way to improve the lives of human beings. That is the ultimate challenge. That's the ultimate test of whether equality of opportunity is being made available. That people in their own lives will have better experiences. That people, because of their age, because of their social circumstances, will be less disadvantaged than they might otherwise be. That's the challenge and that's the test.